are gathered here today in the sight of God and all of you as witnesses, friends and family members to celebrate this wonderful union. I vow to be your best friend, your workout buddy, your travel partner, which comes complete with two to three vacations yearly and at least one international trip every other year. I vow to respect and admire you as well as protect your freedom as a unique individual within this marriage. I promise to never try to change you, instead encourage your growth. I promise to respect your wants and needs above my own and admire you as you admire me and your children. With God and all our guests as witness, witnesses, I vow to be an authentic man of God. I vow to love, cherish, and respect you as my equal, to consider your thoughts, desires, feelings, and well-being throughout all of life's circumstances and decisions. Vow to give you myself completely to you and only you forsaking all others. I vow to love you as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her and place your needs before my own. Lastly, I vow to make you my wife until the end of this life or until Christ comes to take us home. But Paul writes, love is patient, Love is kind, it doesn't envy, love isn't boastful, it's not conceited, it doesn't act improperly, it's not selfish, it's not provoked, it doesn't keep a record of wrongs, love finds no joy in unrighteousness, it rejoices in the truth, it bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, love never fails. Of course, Jesus modeled this kind of love for us. I think of him bending down to wash the feet of his disciples. I think of him being in the crowd and his heart was moved with compassion. is given as a seal of the covenant that's being made. The gold of which the ring is made is a picture of, of the great value, the great worth. And so it's a picture that this union is of great worth. But also a ring doesn't have a beginning or an end. And so it's supposed to illustrate the enduring nature of your marriage during this lifetime. In as much as you, Chris May, and you, Kelly Stubna, have declared these vows before God and these witnesses, and as a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, what God has joined together, let no man separate. You may kiss the bride. me want to be a better person, a better partner, a better Christian, and a better friend to others. And I vow to do whatever I can, not only to help the betterment of our marriage, but to support you in your personal journey of being better yourself.
along the lines, he is also a voice of reason. He will always help you talk things out and help you see other perspectives. This is a part that I don't want anyone to forget. He is competitive. My God, he is competitive. He can and will make anything and everything into a competition. than you could possibly realize. You are the most adventurous, stylish, fair, and brave person that I know. Chris is definitely one lucky guy. Baby, I don't care, I don't think I'd even mind Between holding your hand, what I'm feeling in the bottles of wine you just might be something that could stick Well, at least I put my money down on it Cause to me, our love is like an old-fashioned Finest whiskey poured out in our glasses You are something sweet Sip you slow, then repeat you're the habit I thought I could be The old-fashioned love's got a hold of me This world really needs something like you and me Bitter with a touch of sweet Cold but it goes down with ease Old-fashioned love is what this world really needs 